Hey folks, I'm just here in my hometown, but I'm about to head back to the studio in Augusta. I've been recording some content, so what you're about to see is the League of Legends content that I spliced with my personal channel where I expand more details, so it's kind of like a behind the scenes. So I do cover League of Legends, but also what I cover more is that I cover the OBS methodology, the QuickTime methodology. So this is a more detailed video. I'm aiming to, you know, as you guys watch this channel or watch this channel grow, uh, kind of have some different things that aren't in the blend logic tech that you may have seen me from in that if you're coming from blend logic tech to this personal channel uh, so yeah i just wanted to preface it's going to be kind of the same league of legends video but with more content there i want to help people uh increase revenue streams and funny enough one of the ways to do that is live streaming or recording content recording your gameplay so that's what this video is going to be covering and it's going to be over league of legends of how that went enjoy Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be covering League of Legends on the N3 Max using both the metal tweak that gets you faster FPS, as well as showing how OBS and QuickTime recording impact the device. So let's go right into it with the screen recordings and B-roll footage from the Sony A6000. All right, folks, so one of the first methodologies here is I have a Sony A6000, as you see in the blurry shaky cam, getting 300 FPS. This is with the metal tweak, which means you go into the game config file, change to add the metal tweak as listed by this um, photo here. So the other option is here I have OBS turned on recording at using the hardware settings of OBS. And once you turn that on, you see a noticeable decrease in FPS now from 300 to 212. Um, so this is recording a 60 FPS video on screen recording and it also includes the sound that you're hearing. Um, so it does desktop capture when you do screen display. So you don't need black hole, um, which is the option that you need when using QuickTime recording. Um, and I found that OBS to be more taxing on the FPS. So for example, you're seeing dips to 170, whereas we're, what we're about to look at is the QuickTime recording and we'll see how that performs. So QuickTime is done by, I have the hotkey to record the screen and you just got to make sure that you do black hole on or multi output device so that you could hear the audio. And then uh, for me, my hotkey I turned is uh, command shift three, but there are keyboard shortcuts to take, um, you know, I adjusted that, but there are hotkeys where you can go into QuickTime to record a new screen recording. So after taking a while to get that set up, OBS is turned off and we go right into the QuickTime screen recording and this is the backdrop of the A6000, but if we go to the recording, we see that we get approximately about 240 FPS. Depending on what you need a screen recording for or you know, if you're making content or recording your gameplay footage, it's not like in video where they have a shadow play or something to that effect. It's more taxing on the uh, m3 max so i think they should probably try to have better options if and if apple is trying to get into gaming to have a better screen recording or some kind of app that isn't as taxing or open up the um encoders to not tax the video so much hey folks so i wanted to start off with a deeper dive on the OBS methodology and QuickTime methodology for recording. Um, so League of Legends was recorded off this M3 Max with uh, OBS and QuickTime. So I'm gonna go through how to set up OBS. Um, when you have OBS, you can enable this preview. It's a scene or a source. So in the sources, you choose Mac OS screen capture. And then the specific option I like using is hide OBS for capture. I have the second view which adds, so OBS is recording over OBS but there should be two versions of me. I'm gonna disable this preview so you're not confused, but basically it's a video capture of me on the left side of the screen with the Mac OS capture that I just showed. Finally, the last thing you're seeing on screen right now um, is, or what is a possibility, is to have just a full scene that records video. So if this was open, you'd be seeing what you're seeing on screen right now, which is a full version of my iPhone 14 doing continuity camera. So something I like about in making content with MacBooks compared to Windows is it's much easier to kind of hook up your iPhone and have great quality uh, cameras. So for those um, new to this channel, I've run, this is my personal blog, vlog content. I have, I run BlendLogic Tech, which is a monetized channel with over, I think 1.5 million views. 
and I'm trying to monetize this one to have a more breadth of the algorithms, um, more breadth of what content I make. So Blend Logic Tech is strictly laptops or tech reviews, and I've kind of been niched into this Apple <laughs> review cycle, um, whereas this one involves, you know, my aim is to help lifelong learners uh, increase the probability of having a good life, which involves being wealthy, healthy, happy, and wise. And in part of that, uh, essence one of the pillars is travel and technology and so I'm just illustrating you know different ways you can make income streams one of them is recording content or streaming and so this channel is going more in depth of this League of Legends review because I wanted to really cover you know how to use OBS and record your your gameplay footage for this channel and then talk about League of Legends so Diving more into OBS, what I do is for the output, the first thing is I, I make it native resolution for the retina, which is 3024 by 964, and then I have 60 FPS set. And for the output, I simply keep it at simple, and I do hardware encoder is the Apple, and I try to get probably above 20K thousand um, video bitrate. And that got me the outputs that you saw on this Final Cut video, where it was the screen recordings. So I have two of them. Um, these are the OBS ones right here, and then the screen recording is um, this one's from QuickTime. So that I think that it came out pretty well on the Blend Logic Tech video. Uh, let me just do a quick double check that hopefully I wasn't blocking a lot of the things. Um, so that's one take on you're seeing behind the scenes of this editing video for um, editing the video for. Blend Logic Tech. Another thing I'm going to show now is how to do QuickTime recording. So you could either use the hotkey or you could, I have a hotkey set of Command Shift 3 and it brings up this bottom window where I can choose to record the, the whole screen. Or if you have QuickTime open, you can just do File, New, Screen Recording and it brings up the same option. Uh, so one thing to keep in mind is that you'll have to have multi-output device so that you could hear what you want to hear but then it also record records the audio in black hole 2h you can download that online it's a free software to download black hole uh the black hole software but i use alfred and when you click and go into audio midi setup you can create a uh, multi-output device and here i have set black hole and airpod max to be the devices that record audio um, and then simply when I use the recording settings, I say black hole is the one that records the desktop audio. So OBS, you don't need to do this, but uh, with QuickTime you do. And so that's just a little kind of behind the scenes, more in depth of a video of how to stream and League of Legends benchmarks, which is what I intend to make um, this personal channel content on. Now, going finally into League of Legends. So I posted on Blend Logic Tech how to do the tweak, but I'm going to go in more details about it here. Um, if you show package contents, go into contents, go law, LOL, config. There should be this game config. You do text edit, and you want to put in the very end of general, metal beta test equals one. So that will get you set up with, um, that will get you set up doing the, it basically makes you have better frames per second. I think I went from like 240 FPS to like 340 FPS by rendering with metal. So that's something to consider there. Lastly, so the last thing I want to talk about is if you guys are using Final Cut to produce content, um, you can get it all into uh, into the, the I can't even speak, sorry. You can get it into the timeline, but what you need to do first is usually with the OBS recordings, they go in MKV files and you want to remix, remix those. Um, so you would select the MKV and then you re could remux it. I, I'm not, not sure how to pronounce it, sorry. Or you could turn on auto remux in the settings in advanced, I believe it's here, automatically remux to MP4. So I'm going to exit this OBS. I'm going to go to my OBS that's recording and now it should be a full screen video. Guys, uh, this is the outro for the personal channel. Uh, Blend Logic Tech has the League of Legends review or of the M3 Max, and then this one was a behind the scenes video of how the content was made and more details of the OBS. So, hope you guys, uh, you know, will subscribe to this channel as well. I'm looking to get monetized um, and and 
have more like tech travel and tutorials actually that's another pillar of the personal channel is like more uh relatable perhaps way of describing stuff where the blood logic tech very straight focused i don't even show my face usually uh, but yeah thanks for watching leave a comment below uh subscribe if you want to help out this channel uh this personal channel get monetized and i'll see you guys in the next video peace